A few videos back, I showed you guys how to get super cheap full body tracking using nothing but a Quest and a phone. And I think it's no secret that quite a few of you seems to really enjoy that video, which shows me that there's definitely interest in super cheap and accessible full body tracking. But there were two things in those comments that seemed to be louder than everything else. You see, at the time, the application that we used, Driver4VR, didn't support iOS devices. It does now. So that video applies to both Android and iOS. The second thing most prominent in the comment section was Tripino Quest, an application developed for Apple devices that does basically the exact thing, but according to the comments, a lot better. Now, this one is only for iOS devices, which, as a lot of you may know, I don't actually have. Well, that was until recently, when I found this iPad in my car. This is an iPad Air 2, which means it is new enough to run the PinoQuest application. So what is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today I'll be showing you really cheap, full body tracking with nothing but a Quest and an iPhone or an Apple device. And we will be checking out if it truly is a lot better than the last solution we tried. So let's jump right into it. First things first, what you're going to require is you're going to require the Pinot Quest app. Now, getting the Pinot Quest app is incredibly simple. You don't need to jailbreak your device or anything like that. In fact, all you do is you go onto the App Store, uh, once Wi-Fi starts working. No, go away, Siri. No. And there we go. This is the application you're looking for. And then, of course, you just install it like you would any other app. This app is also paid. However, supposedly it's only like 20 bucks a year, which is not bad at all. Pinot Quest would like to access your camera. Okay, first use, please use how to use chest and hip tracking are free. Elbows and legs must be subscribed. Okay, so this is just like the other app. And this does also work on PC VR, in case that is what you want to use it for. Jumping into the Pinot Quest application, you will require your Quest's IP address, which you can get by jumping into your Quest, going into settings, going into Wi-Fi, clicking on your Wi-Fi network, scrolling down a little bit, and grabbing your IP address. Don't worry, this is your local IP address. I'm not leaking my info here. If you instead want to be using the Pinot Quest app for VR chat on PC VR, you will need your PC IP address. The easiest way of grabbing this is pressing the Windows key and the letter R, typing in CMD and pressing enter, or just launching the command prompt. Then inside the command prompt, you want to type ipconfig and find your IP address. Then put that inside the PinoQuest app instead of the Quest's IP address. The settings in PC VR chat are the same as they would be on Quest VR chat. Then put that IP address into the PinoQuest application. Put your height into the PinoQuest application as well. This is is very important for the calibration to be correct. Then on the list of apps, select VRChat, as that is the only app that supports OSC tracking for now. So once you've got that done, place your phone or iPad somewhere where it will see the majority of your play space and you when you're moving around, because this is an iPad and not a phone. The zoom on this thing is absolutely unbearable. Like I had to move it back incredibly far and the camera was still super zoomed in. So our field of view is very constricted here and I couldn't do as many movements as I would like to do. But you guys should get a lot of a better view. However, I still tried to get as many poses in as possible. Inside your headset, fire up VRChat. This does not need to be the beta version of VRChat. Inside your actions menu, head over to OSC and enable OSC tracking. You can also bring up the OSC debug window if you want to make sure that your trackers are really being connected. Then head over to VRChat settings and make sure that you have full body tracking enabled. Once you enable full body tracking, you will need to calibrate it. So make sure the height is set correctly and calibrate FBT. When you're calibrating FBT, you should notice white or Orbs floating around your avatar. These are the full body tracking points being sent to your avatar from your Apple device. And as you can instantly tell, there's quite a few more points here than there was last time, which means we're gonna get a few extra points of tracking, which sounds as good as it is. Then, when you're calibrating your avatar, stand in a T-pose. This is going to be very important now that we have more points of tracking, as these orbs will be mounted to your body parts. Once you've finished standing in a T-pose, press on the triggers and this will calibrate your avatar. First thing you'll notice is that you now have elbows. Yes, 
Two of those extra points of tracking are your elbows, which means you can now make funny movements. Now, the tracking did still seem quite jittery. However, it did react a lot better to fast movements than the last camera-based full body tracking setup that we tried. I could kick and I could jump, and both of those things were as a matter of fact tracked, which I was very impressed by. Sitting down also seems to be a lot more stable, and you could fully turn around. Just like the commenters told me, this works with this setup. You can turn around and the avatar doesn't lose tracking. Don't get me wrong, this is not the perfect full body tracking setup by any means, and not everything works flawlessly. You're not going to get pretty much flawless tracking like you would with other tracking solutions with actual trackers but this is already a ton better. Being able to do fast movements, spin around, move my legs around quickly allows you to do things like, per se, dancing. Sitting down was also not a problem, and while I couldn't bring my chair into the super constricted space that we had, I could pretend to sit in the air, which is basically just as good, and that worked no problem whatsoever. Sitting down on the floor and lifting one of my legs up as well worked no problem. So all in all, this does seem to be a better setup than what we had previously, being able to jump, kick, turn around, move my legs around quickly, sit down, and uh, kind of do a handstand, all seem to be really big positives for the Pinot Quest solution. And while the app does cost money, it's 20 bucks a year, that might just be a lot less for a lot of people than buying three full body trackers or more as a physical solution. This, being able to use your camera, is going to apply to a lot of people, as a lot of people already have one of these devices laying around, and would have no issue with placing it down in order to do their full body tracking. And with it working as well as it does, getting just a little bit of a higher FOV would really do you a lot of favors here. Again, I feel like a lot of the issues I had can be attributed to the fact that this is an iPad and it zooms in a lot and it's also not the newest one out there as well. But it did work really well, which only makes me think that with newer devices this would work even better better. I am super, super excited for these full body tracking solutions coming out, and I am even more excited to be seeing more people inside virtual reality using them, as full body tracking adds another layer of immersion to social VR applications. Even when I'm speaking to people, it's really nice being able to see their elbows interact, their legs interact. It also brings a whole new layer of apps and games to virtual reality, as you can now kick and dance. I do certainly think that if you're looking for a cheap way of getting into full body tracking, and you don't need anything too advanced. Say you just want to chill out with your friends in VR chat, you're not going to be kicking people in Blade and Sorcery or anything like that. You don't necessarily need the precision of physical trackers. This is definitely worth taking a look at. After all, the Pinot Quest application is free and you can check out how it works on your device before you actually go ahead and buy it, which is a really nice option here. So, of course, I will leave a link to it down in the description below in case you guys want to check it out. That is going to be it for today's video. Let me know which tracking solutions you're using down in the comment section below, and please don't start an all-out Apple Android war. Love you guys, if you like this one. Please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord, check out our Reddit down below. I want to see you posting your spicy memes on there. And thank you so, so much to all the lovely patrons. Those names are going off to my right right now. You guys are helping me out so much, and I cannot explain to you how much that means to me. So thank you. And if you want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, dig my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.